Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. We have an awesome show for you guys. We do. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go hit the subscribe button right now. What's happening, yes. Stacy? Today we have the voice of our dynamic duo. You don't want to miss it. They are incredible. Jessica awesome. G. George and Grant George. Get ready because we're getting buzzed big time. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Hey guys, we are with the voice of our dynamic duo. Between the two of them, they have been working for over 50 years in Are You Ready? Anime, <laughs> animation, video games, commercials, promos, narration, radio imaging, and ADR casting and directing. Thank you very much. Holy we Toledo. have so much to talk about, and I hope you're ready to get super buzzed with the fabulous Grant George and Jessica G. George. Oh, right. Let's that. get buzzed. Thank you. Let's, Let's get go. buzzed. Let's get buzzed. Yeah. 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 Let's get Can buzzed. Can we just pause to say, really, like, just there's so much going on that I'm loving the jewelry, the, the spirit. My God, you guys are fantastic. Thank you. You fantastic. are too. You guys thank are too. You. Thank you, thank you. This you guys must brand yourselves you as the hot couple of voiceovers. <laughs> yeah. Hottest couple in like like yeah. The hot husband. The, the hot, hot husband. husband. <laughs> right. That didn't quite go over so well, so we, oh we kind of fine tuned to the dynamic duo right. instead. Well, I gotta say, first so off, man, this is a super, super treat for both Stacy and I, yes. but especially for me because um, Jessica way back. and I go way back <laughs> when we were literally working on demo production together. In your closet. In my closet <laughs> of my bedroom. <laughs> right. So then I came out of the closet and now I'm here. Wait, why are you in this bedroom? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and then, Ooh, and then I remember in this when we met Grant and I yeah. was like, wow, Grant is so cool. Like if anybody could be cooler than Jessica and then she meets yes. like somebody else is just as yes. cool. Yeah. And then Grant's like, like, hey man, let me do your website. And I was like, what? okay, I swear. I said, let's just go in the closet together. And he together. goes, wait a minute. So he did my website and he, cause he knew I was a rocker and everything. And he actually was mm -hmm. the one that came up with my whole, you know, demos, demos that, that rock. rock. That's yeah. right. so, which, which is now like my brand. And that guy right there mm -hmm. was like, yeah, you should use that. And I'm like, okay, so I will. And so thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's, that's right. So the ticking cool. clock. No, you're not like... getting residuals for that. So <laughs> right. That would be yeah. a lot. By the, he yep. always says, whenever he's a, always says Grant George, he'll say, you know, he is very handsome. I'm like, yes, I know. So, there's a little bromance. <laughs> I do. I just love you, dude. <laughs> I just really do. I love go both of you guys. It's so great. Yeah. So anyways, so I, cool. I, I am so excited to have you guys here Thank on the you. show. Yeah, thanks for um, having us. We're and, honored uh, to And you here. guys are in for a super duper treat because yes. I could literally say that there's nobody else out there in the VO industry like these two. Oh, that's for sure. And, yes. and, and that, you know, yeah. We're saying yeah. it for one reason and one saying it for another. Anyway. So you guys are gonna learn some really, yes. really cool stuff. So I'm gonna break it right in. I right want to know this because you guys have so much information. Mm. Um, so in today's business, the voiceover industry, mm -hmm. what do you think are some skills slash quality slash behaviors that people really need in order to be competitive? Mm. I so know what you're going to say, but you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> it's see, like the dating that's game. Oh, work all the let's time. see, the dating yeah, game, right on your card. Right? Yeah. And we'll... right, I would say, and I could probably speak for us on this one, which I kind of do a lot, <laughs> but um, I would say studying, like going and getting lessons. And not just um, not just voiceover lessons, but like improv and acting and, you know, wherever you can you can stretch and get that strength, Yeah, mm -hmm. you know? Like a marathon runner doesn't just run marathons. If they're doing yoga, they're gonna have a better run. If they're yep. hill training, they're gonna have a better run. Right. So that crossover is super, super important. So even not just the traditional voiceover coaching, but things that are outside of yeah. that. Yeah, we know? study. Mm -hmm. You study. We, we still study. study. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we still yeah. study with people that we've, I mean, there's so many different philosophies out there and you shouldn't yeah. just assume that one is gonna be your guru and, and follow mm -hmm. that person and assume yeah. that that is the way it should be. Go out and get yeah. everybody's opinion because then you have your whole 
toolkit. You can pick and choose what works for me, what doesn't. Yeah. And some people will <laughs> will philosophize that this is the way it it is. Right. And it's not necessarily true. You know? Yeah. So, Try so what do works you for guys you. still like maybe surprise each other sometimes, or like like you actually improve still? Is there still room? Oh yeah. For improvement? There's always room for improvement. <laughs> oh, I'm never a hundred percent. I'm an cooked. actor. I'm never yeah. satisfied with my work. Yeah, totally. True. But, and but, it's constantly changing. Is the problem like the what is popular? What was popular back, you know, 15 years ago in terms of style yeah. is not popular now. Mm -hmm. Now it's gotten almost so common that it, you know, <laughs> the tendency would be don't get any training because that's sort of the sound of today. But that's not true. Yeah, I yeah. Think right. When the I think specs say phase. don't sound like an actor, right? You gotta I learn those. to pull yeah. it back. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you have to know that as a technique. Yeah. But I also yeah. think that's a trend that's passing and it will get back to people, yeah. you know, coloring this word to mm -hmm. sell this point. Mm -hmm. I sort of hope so. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Yeah. Is there a little tip on a technique to maybe get you into that sort of thing or? To the mode of where it is right now. So yeah. the mode of where it is right now is, um, is kind of a man on the street, low key, showing very little emotion. Yeah, um, underselling as opposed underselling. to overselling. Yeah, mm -hmm. somebody used the term dumbing it down the other night when we were at dinner and, and I thought, gosh, that's a, that's a negative spin on it. Yeah. It's not so much that, it's just like, asking somebody their opinion and so you know you're not coloring any words and I'm from the the ilk of coloring getting things into people's ears has to be a little bit differently when you're on stage you have to play bigger yeah right so in voiceover I think you have to be able to really color words and you know and also throw in buttons and and that's what we do that's like our, like our specialty, I yeah. think. So you asked about surprising one another. Yep. I think we really do surprise one another. We make each other laugh, but constantly, you know? But <laughs> it's our buttons. You just made him laugh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I believe yeah. you now. But yeah. buttons are like yeah. a super important aspect. That, so you can still play that low key, but you know, my low key kind of goes wry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the wry girl. And what does your low key do? Mm, yeah, same kind of thing. Just sort of the, the wry. Um, sarcastic, but it is about adding our little flavor to things. Yeah. It's a fine line because there's some people who feel that their writing is like, don't even touch right, it. Like right. what I've written is, yeah. is the gospel. But how many times have you heard something that you auditioned for and it, the specs were very low key, not yeah. over and then you hear it and it's like, ba ba! Yeah. You know, exactly. so that happens. Well, you know? I trust my instinct when that comes along. Yeah. So it says low key. Yeah. You know, when you get stuff like that, you got to take it at you got to take it at face value and you got to say okay this is what they're asking for so make sure i give this one mm -hmm. but here's the thing when you're doing a session you're being and you you know this you're being taken one direction then the other direction if there's five people in the room you're spinning you're going okay got it then you you're going up on this word and you're going down on this word and you're stopping here and you're putting a pause here and it becomes so technical right and then the thing that I always do is, <laughs> can I, end. at the end, I go, can yeah. I give you one of my own? And they go, yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. We love that one. Because it's me. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So, yeah. you know, you got to let people direct. Yeah. And then yeah. you got to, you still have to be authentic. Yeah. So when you're given a direction that's saying like, you know, be low key, be low key, like follow their direction, don't go off the page too much, and then for your second take, throw all that away. <laughs> throw all that away. Yes. Throw and just it go away. with what you, go with your what's gut, authentic. your instincts. Yeah. yeah. One of the cool things about you guys that I was talking about earlier that nobody else does is that you guys, you guys get booked together. Yeah. Like all the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Like that's your big thing. Yeah. So it's hard enough for some people to just book themselves. <laughs> How the heck do you guys manage to book each other as a team like constantly, how do you do that? It's genuine chemistry, really. Um, you can put two actors together and they can come up with their own little you know, chemistry between yeah. themselves. Mm -hmm. But when you have two people that have lived together for so long and know each other and they can almost foresee what the person's gonna do, we're thinking of what the, how this person's gonna respond to how we're responding. Right. right. So we're always a step ahead of each other. 
but yeah. in sync with each other. Yeah. That's yeah. the one thing yeah. that I think we hear in sessions is nobody has that kind of chemistry. Like, we've got you. We did a slew of malls across the country for a lot of years. Yeah. yeah. And they started writing, and on, you know, it started as husband and wife, and then very quickly it turned <laughs> to Grant and Jess. <laughs> Grant and Jess, you know? Yeah. And you love it when they're writing mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. yeah. And then they know Jess's quip. Like I always play, I think I think the way we kind of have positioned ourselves is I'm the one-up girl because I've got the lower voice, I've got the, come on, honey. And he's the, oh, you know, the frenetic, like, right. oh, I'm kind of dopey. Yeah, I was the yeah. child. Yeah. The, the child man. man. The child, child man. man. Exactly. Uh. But then we always kind of, they always give us an opportunity to put our spin on it, too. Mm -hmm. So they'll say, all right, let's give us a couple of different other variations on it. Yeah. We'll just go on our own little tangents right. and the things that at least make us laugh. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully well, it makes that other people laugh. that you did. Right. It's just organic people. timing. Yeah. 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 It is a timing thing. When you guys think about your careers, um, what do you think have been some of the keys to your success and longevity? Wow, I think the main thing, I mean, Jessica's been at this for what, 37 Seven years? years? She started mm -hmm. when she was three. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> in utero, yeah, in exactly. utero. It's just, it's gone through so, I mean, even when I started 15 years ago, it's gone through so many different, I mean, it's changed. It changes all the yeah. time, and mm -hmm. technology changes it, and, and what is popular changes it in terms of the styles. So it's really about staying, I hate saying the word relevant because. Current. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more current, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, relevant doesn't, you know, you can always say, are you relevant? But then you've got 60 year old people that still are very relevant in the right. world that you can't right. say are not because they're not into social media. But um, it's just staying in, you know, staying up with the times, keeping up with technology, keeping up with what's current and never sitting on your laurels. There are people mm -hmm. who have created enormous success for themselves, and they hope that that will carry them on, and it's just not. You're constantly marketing yeah. yourself, yeah. constantly reinventing yourself, and it never stops. It's an ongoing how, process. How much yeah. do you think, uh, for you guys, is strategy? Um, hmm. I, think, I mean, there's, a, no, uh, there's a lot you can't control, yeah. but I feel like you guys have there's there's this there's this great brain. Yeah, that you, you guys have are very you, strategic yeah. there. Well, I think it's our our strategy is always being ahead of the eight ball. Mm -hmm. That's I, I've always been like I was one of the first people to put in ISDN, ISDN. in my house. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I I I keep up on the trends. I know who the little kids are who are up and coming now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to the little kids, but um, <laughs> you know to, I know what's popular. I know why they're being booked so that it's really important to know your community. Mm -hmm. That's another aspect. They're, that's different from comparison because I right. think a lot of people begin comparing. Right. And right. you know, I've fallen into that trap before like, wow, how even in listening back to spots like how come they got it and I, you know, yeah. Yeah. I gave my yeah. best. So n compare equals despair. So mm -hmm. not having that. But I think our strategy is um, is just well, Jessica, our friend Jessica would like to say who's our coach, one of our coaches would like to say that our strategy is having fun. Mm -hmm. And she's this brilliant, brilliant, brilliant life coach. Yeah. But she says that when we started having fun, we started loving our business. Mm. And I think that once we stop loving it, and that could be on a Thursday, you know, right. and that could mm -hmm. be you wake up on a Monday and you're like, don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Don't want to sit in the studio and do that. And then a day later, you're like, all oh, completely <laughs> good. Because what we do is we have fun in between. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a big strategy for us. Like mm. not, not making this who we are, but more of what, what we, we do. do. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I say who and do. So you're not keeping the balance, you're balancing your work. Entire you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's not me, it's what I do. It took me, oh, well, how long have I been in this business? <laughs> I think he said 30 some years. Minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's so bad. Yeah, it took me 30 some years to get that. Mm -hmm. Because I, I've been doing it since I was a kid. And it's been such an important, and like it's really important, my kids, yeah. that they know that it's family first, and it's you know, and it's fun, and it, and voiceovers is part of that fun. But you know, and it's a great way to pay for their college. Let's hope. <laughs> and you know, yeah. it, but I think, I think part of it is making sure that you aren't so consumed. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing mm -hmm. some of these wonderful talent really consumed. It's like they think, breathe, eat, yeah. sleep, voiceover. Yeah. But 
there's a time, and I, you know, I can throw this out. There's a time of burnout. So yeah, it, yeah I was just going to say that can burn you yeah. out. Yeah, right. And 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 I don't want to put a negative spin on it. I think the positive part of it is that if you're breaking it up with just forgetting about it, and not like if you don't feel like it, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Let it go, because then your authentic self isn't coming out. It's the self that's like frustrated. You well, know? no, and that desperate smell stinks up the booth. You know? Right. It's yeah. like you just, and it just, that, that yeah. you, you can't, you got to want it, but you can't need it that much that it right. takes well, that, over. Yeah, there's certain people that that's their whole life. I mm -hmm. mean, there is, is voiceover and they can't do anything else. And it's really important to get out there and, and stimulate yourself creatively just by being out in nature, taking hikes, right, right. going out and having is experiences. That what you guys do? You go out in nature yeah, and take and it, hikes? We, we have to keep reminding ourselves to do that because it's very easy to wake mm -hmm. up and see a whole email list right. full of auditions that yeah. you have to get through and jobs that you need to turn around. You go on the mic without the Sennheiser. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. leave the mic at home. Yeah. 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 I have a quick, can I tell a quick little story? Of course. Of course. Okay, so I'll make it, I'll give you the abridged version. It was my birthday and this was years ago when LinkedIn came out. Uh -huh. Remember that? Yeah. And I said to him, my business is down right now and I don't like when my business is down, right? It puts me in fighter mode. Yeah. Okay, like, <laughs> yeah. I gotta go train, right? Yeah. So, I I'm in fighting mode and I say to Grant, no, I'm gonna sit here. Do you remember this? I'm gonna I'm gonna make five thousand contacts. Okay. So I made contacts. You wanna know who I made contact with? Everybody else whose business was down. Because that's the energy that I was putting yes. out. So Grant comes to me, and I've been working for maybe 14 hours on making 5,000 contacts, because I'm a go-getter, right? Yes. And, and nothing's going to get in my way. I got the eye of the tiger. <laughs> and he comes to me, and he goes, get up. It's your birthday. And I'm like, oh, it is? <laughs> you have 20 yeah. minutes yeah. left on yeah. your birthday. Right. Oh, and it, so he goes, we're going somewhere. He takes me up to the mountains, and we go golfing, and we're hackers. We're terrible golf. We're playing miniature golf. Yeah. Some guy, old man, car, comes up to us and goes, you guys just suck. And, and it just made us laugh. Yeah. And I said, and, and, you know, my phone hadn't been ringing for a long time. And then all of a sudden, we're coming down that mountain because we didn't have service up there. And my phone starts pinging. Mm. And it was, there were two jobs out of, it was my birthday. So people called for my birthday. But it, there were two jobs on there. Two jobs, not yeah. like connections. Yeah. And I, right. I learned a really valuable lesson that day. You know, I think sometimes those who who don't do it <laughs> like know it the loud. Those who don't know it know it the loudest. Yep. Or, yeah, yeah. Or you know, it's got to be. It, it's got to be. There's got to be a good le lesson in there for people. That absolutely, like, man. Let me ask you guys something. If you, because you guys have done this, like you've had the ups, you've had the downs, and a pro maybe even more ups and downs, or I don't know that, but knowing what you know now, because you said that it just took you 37 years to learn that one thing that you were just talking about. I was three. So you were three. Yeah, yeah. So if you, if you could, it, Eat, both of you, if you could change anything when you, that when you were doing, you know, when you were starting off, is there anything that you would change? Well, I started here in on camera, and my whole thing was like, how can I get around the competition and going through the back door? Like, yeah. never just going straight through what everybody has done and tested and true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, how can I make myself stand out, be different, go around this? And in doing that, I I spent years of not just doing what I should have done to <laughs> go right in. So there is a certain thing to be said about following what is the standard, but still being yourself yeah. and mm -hmm. still marketing yourself uniquely. So um, you were trying to find unique and clever ways to do things and it actually took you longer? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So instead of just going in through the front door, I was always trying to find the back door. Yeah, people get arrested going through the back door. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What about you, Jess? Well, you know, I'm sitting here thinking about that, and I'm thinking that I didn't have the support from my parents. You know, I'm from the general, my parents were like the Eastern European, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a business person, you are not an actor. Right. You're yeah. not. In fact, when I was growing up, there was a, a thing posted on our refrigerator by Jessica Savage, who used to be a news broadcaster, mm -hmm. and it used to say, and it said, there are no, there's no place for broads in broadcasting. Wow. Mm. And I think my parents wanted me to pick that up, and I did. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think in, in answer to that, it's that I shot up in steps. Like I was like, I'm good enough to do this, but I still had aspirations to do that. You know, which was for me, it was doing like prime time cartoons, and I don't know if I really believed that I was like that's where I should be. Yeah. I shot 
the next step, the next step, the next rung, the next rung, and I, you know, and climbed up. And I think if I had to do it all over again, I'd ha it would have to be about faith and belief in myself mm. that mm -hmm. I'm good enough. Mm, like I'm good. good enough to just go for what everybody else is. Because yeah. the truth of the matter is, you learn when you're working. Yeah, you, you know, a lot yes. faster a lot. too. Yeah, yes. a lot faster. Yes, and and you just get this natural chemistry. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when I finally started, yeah, when I finally when I was on Land Before Time and I started working with these like majors, I'm like, what's my problem? Why didn't I work with these people way before this? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. and that was because I. You know, I didn't know that I believed that I could. Yeah. Belief, believing, believing in yourself. Believing in yourself. That you can do, yeah. go for the bigger stuff. For the bigger stuff. I don't yeah. know that if we should gauge stuff as big or little. I just think it's like our voice is our voice and yeah. we're right for the job or we're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk real quickly because when you go to their website, the dynamic duo, VO, duo yeah. dot com. Yeah, and the boy wonders. Yeah. Ex no. You threw me off there. That was, <laughs> my, that was, my, sorry. That was my catch. Oh, I'm um, sorry. So, so when you go there, you see the mom and dad, they're all turned, you know, they're not facing you. You only yes. see their backs. You got, you got Grip, group. You, you got Jess, and then you have the two boys, and it says, and the boy, the boy wonders, wonders, right? Yes. Wonders, wonders. Right, yes. wonders, yeah. Oh my God. When I saw that, I was like, how freaking cool is that? <laughs> yeah. That is marketing to like, the T, I mean, because mm -hmm. nobody does that. Nobody's right. doing that. Nobody's right. ever done that, probably. Right. So, I don't think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a family affair. It I is. mean, and you, so, you know. Yeah. I'm sorry. But, 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 <laughs> you're like us, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I wanted to just to talk a little bit about the boys and mm -hmm. what they're doing and how did they, how did you get them into voiceovers? Is it something that they wanted to do or, because how old are they now? No, we like forced them. Oh, yeah. We forced yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Look at how much this is. Yeah. You know, to read Drafts numbers. Them yeah. in the chair. Yeah. Exactly. They want toys. That was a bribery. Yeah. Dax is almost 10. Logan's eight. And... When Dax was a kid, we took him on some on-camera things, but he yeah. would like, you know, grab our leg and hide behind us. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. in fact, I had an audition with him for a Ford commercial or something, and went out to, all the way out to Santa Monica. It was just me lifting me out of the car. He was asleep. Put the baby in, you know, blah blah blah. He gets a call back. I don't. <laughs> so I can drive all the way back to Santa Monica with him, and yes. he has to meet his pretend dad for the day. And he's like, "Not having it. Yeah. Not going to do it if it's not my own dad." Yeah. So I drove all the way back from Santa Monica, <laughs> and we're like, "All right, maybe yeah. you know, on camera it's not going to be his gig." Yeah. yeah. But then he's always had a really great, you know, very clear, distinct voice, mm -hmm. and now it's become very popular for the kids to do real kid voices. Right, right, they don't want right. the adults doing the kids so much. And uh, and then Logan also has a, a really good character voice too. He plays a little younger than he is, which actually works to his mm -hmm. favor. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and he's a lilt. <laughs> like, oh, he's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's from Ireland. He's from Ireland. All the people at the zoo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's really cute. <laughs> but we knew that Dax had had the skills. We took him to an audition where we had to do some ADR on mm -hmm. a film, and you know we're watching these zombies jump out of the thing. We're supposed to like chase the scene and put their efforts into the oh, mouth yeah. and like, you know, and he's like, no, daddy, you have to wait till he's jumped down. Then you make that sound oh. of a and we're like, whoa, he whoa. really gets this. Yeah, and he said, yeah, to yeah. Me, wait for the three beeps, mommy, because you know, you wait for the <laughs> oh, yes. and I'm like, okay, I think he well. was probably Four or five when yeah. we were doing Another that. Another director in the family. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, they so I, you probably were joking, but we were talking the other day, and you're like, uh, the kids are working more than we are now. <laughs> it does <laughs> very that well. Really true? Yes. Yeah. Uh, some I mean, weeks, you're, you're, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, we work, and I yeah, think you know. But I mean, in terms of like, sometimes if we're comparison, comparing it, it's um, it's like who's having ISDN sessions or Source Connect sessions. And Dax this week was up on us for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. that's weird to say, but yeah. I mean, today he, one of his sessions was canceled, but he was so excited to be pulled out at school early. <laughs> and yeah, you yeah. Know, and it, it's cool. Like he he really gets it. He knows how to read really well. So yeah. mm -hmm. and Logan's up and coming, you know, that two years makes a big difference sure. yeah. in reading. Yeah. 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 Do you have any, because there are people watching that have creative kids, do you have any wisdom for parents about pursuing it and how much do you yeah. push and how much do you encourage? And Well, that's a good point. Like today or on Friday, he was supposed to have a job that he was going to book in the morning and mm -hmm. we realized it was his field trip. Well, you can't take a kid out of the field trip. Like if you start right. taking them with things that are important for their childhood, yeah, they they're going to resist and they're not going to want to do it. Yeah. Um, so we said no. 
No field trip. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. no, no field Brad trip. Brad said I could we'll be take ten. You have to pay your rent, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll take earn you to the zoo, boy. Earn your yeah. keep, boy. Earn your keep. You're nine already. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're going to do the petting uh, zoo when you're not being paid. No, right. no, no, Brad, no, so, Brad so did the 10 to 12 year old one. So you canceled the gig? No, they rescheduled, of course. They rescheduled. But then it got canceled yeah. today anyway, yeah. so it didn't matter. Yeah. But, but um, that, well, that's good. That's, that's actually a good... Let them be kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you let have be to kids. be a kid. Right, right. And I see a lot of these kids that have grown up so quickly because they've, they're working professionals. And there's yeah. a lot of pressure. Uh, a lot of them love it, and some of them are adults before their time. And that's, that's wonderful if they had that opportunity. As a, I mean, if I had that opportunity to work as a kid, I absolutely would have. Right, I would have been right. a great... Child star, yeah, yeah. you know. Do they, do they but, seem? Do they seem like they're excited about it? Is like a cool yeah, thing they're mellow. Them? Like they won't show it. They yeah. met the guy they're who like does surfers. the voice of Johnny yeah. Test. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. met uh, James Arnold Taylor the other day, who does Johnny Test, and that's like their one of their favorite yes. shows. And he's like doing the voices for them, and they're like. James okay, so that's cool. Well, but Jack's inside, you know, they're like, holy yeah, shit, yeah, that's yeah, like exactly. Johnny Test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except Jack said something interesting about that. He said, "It's not always great to meet the people that do the voices." Oh. Kind of burst that bubble, burst the bubble that, for him. Yeah. 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 yeah, and so I mean, he liked meeting him, and he was he like got it, but he's like, now I know what Johnny Test looks like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, really looks like. Yeah, yeah, really looks like. Oh. And yeah. He was such a great guy. Um, you know, I I think it's about letting kids be kids because as a director on some of these animation shows, which I've done in the past, mm -hmm. the parents are always, and you know, forgive me for saying this, but the parents are the trouble. It's yeah. not the kids. It's yeah. the force yeah. to be there. And there's so many times I've seen kids where they're like happy to be there, but they don't, you know, they yeah. have to be there. Yeah. 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 And they Sorry, have to perform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good point. Fun. Back to the fun aspect. Being yeah. Away fun. And, yeah. Well, I think the best Love kids it. are the ones who don't seem like actors. Like yeah. there they're, are the kids who go through these workshops and they're so Hollywood and so like, I'm so like, Hi, outgoing yeah. and personal. And they're doing they're that little shtick right. and you're like, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, but the yeah. real kids are like, wow, you watch them like the kid from Lion is just like brilliant. Oh, oh gosh. geez. When it's that real. Yeah. I know, man. You get immersed in it. Oh, that child. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Precious. Precious. Yeah. So, obviously, this is one of those questions you're like, really? But when you think about your beautiful, massive body of work. What are some of the things I that... massive yeah. body. <laughs> no, no, she's that's not like, that. Did you just call him fat? No. That's like, did you just call me fat? I have this new ab regimen. Oh. No. Body of work. <laughs> work. Yeah. What are the, some of the things that you're the most proud of, whether it was because they were the most challenging, the most fulfilling? What, what are some things that stick out to you? Yeah. Hmm. I think my favorite thing that I've ever done is a film called Thunder in the House of Magic. Oh, that's so I good. I got to be the villain in that. And it was just, you know, when you have that freedom to, you're not locked in if you're doing anime, you're kind of like locked to what's in picture yeah, and what's right. already been delivered by the original artist. But when you have the freedom to just go off and and create and be wacky and big or, you know, bring it down, I mean, it's just, it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. That's working cool. with an ensemble is fun too, because yeah. then you really villain, feed off yeah. each other. Oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like that's like villain. not even done that much anymore. Yeah. So I know. It's a special treat when you do yeah. that. Exactly, yeah. because I mean, a lot of times when I will read a script, I already have like a preconceived notion of how this is how I'm going to deliver my lines. This is how they're going to say it, and then all of a sudden they'll throw me a curveball, the other yeah. actor in the scene. Mm -hmm. and you're like it, it just keeps this whole different yeah. energy going of, yeah. of of like more organic performance. Yeah, oh, I yeah. wish it was all like that still. Yeah, yeah. I know. I really nice. did. Yeah, the good old days. The what about Hanna Barbera? Anything that sticks out that you get, <laughs> You know, you... I my attitude about things switches a lot. So uh, I think I announced in the car yesterday, God, I love looping. Mm -hmm. I love looping so much. That was so fun the other day. <laughs> we just had two weeks of, of like filled looping every single day. And part of it was us, my directing. Part of it was Grant directing. But I just... I love looping, you know? Yeah. Um, and so that was it. And, and I think we've done some amazing pieces, amazing yes. films. Yeah. Um, yes. and, and we love it and we're good at it. And we're, you know, we, we're efficient, meaning good. People like working with us. Um, but I think for me, it's always animation. Yeah. Like I work probably yeah. more, I, I've been working more doing animation lately, but I've worked more doing commercials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like legit. And, and, but 
animation and I just did it, and now everything's being done and the, it's being done massively fast and it's being dumped down to Amazon or Netflix mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know that stuff so you know you're not getting you're getting play but it's it's a whole different world so I just finished something where I got to be this big Bodder Snake and I I love it. It's called <laughs> Bodder Snakes and Gumbles and that's on um, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. And then um, Zach Storm, which is coming out, uh, and I play this crikey old cranky witchy woman. And um, <laughs> I was lucky. I that was an audition where I pulled a move where I wa I wasn't gonna go. And then that was I was an interesting story. It, yeah, I, yeah. I walked out and I go. Eh, hold on for one second, and I walk back in. I go, I want to try something else. Because it's sort of like a, that, a fortune teller, like a right, seer. A seer. Mm -hmm. so sort of yeah, the yeah, Eastern yeah. European, you know, the typical gypsy who would be telling your fortune, and you're like, yeah. wait a second. I walked all the way out, and I yeah. came back in, and then mm -hmm. I booked my, I, I recorded the first one as a seer, and then yeah. they said, the the um, people over at Zag said, no, we like her doing that. the second one she did. So nice. I came back in and, and did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now I'm just on a couple of different series, and yeah. That's cool. It's fun. Man. It yeah. is fun. I love and animation always. Yes. So much different yes. stuff, which is great, man. Yeah. I mean, it's like, the, and how do you, okay, seriously, like, this is a good question. I just, this is like a really good <laughs> okay, question. Okay, good. <laughs> how the heck? <laughs> do you guys manage both being actors because mm -hmm. we know how demanding actors mm -hmm. can be so you're both <laughs> successful what are you saying, demanding actors <laughs> then you have two kids not one but two yeah. that are demanding actors <laughs> yeah. and then you have life and everything else that goes with it how do you balance everything like it's a challenge, and I think things go in spurts. You know, like there'll be a time when promo is really busy, mm -hmm. or radio imaging is really busy for us. Yeah, I don't today. know if it's our focus, if we're like kind of shifting focus and like I'm going to really focus on this, or if it just kind of goes in that wave. But and then there's time when it's like animation, or you know, it's just we never know. But mm -hmm. keeping it going, it's it's a lot of work. Yeah, well, I know. But, and, the and then how do you balance work versus play? Well, that's the thing is that you have to play. Yeah. You know, you've got to not make it your whole existence. We went out to breakfast with somebody probably last year, and, you know, we were talking, so what else do you like to do besides voiceover? And they're like, I long like walks long walks on the beach. And some, like, you <laughs> like know, staple some... answer kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And we're like, wow, he really, this they, they don't person like, do you has read nothing anything else other than copy? No. Right. You know, it's like no. I make myself read every single day yeah. something yeah. that's not I in read so much. I'm, yeah. I'm the BuzzFeed girl. You know, yeah. I would pop up on my phone and I'm reading it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got to have life, too. We get asked that at cons, too. Like, how can I get into voice acting? And one of the things, well, first of all, is training. Get mm -hmm. acting mm -hmm. experience and, and yeah. really learn your, your craft. Don't just wing it. But it's also have real life experiences. Like, don't just spend your life sitting here on a screen. Go out and have adventures on your own. You've yeah. got to get out there. And, yeah. And you know, I remember when I was in acting school at 18, right out of high school, it was all about the plays that we had to do at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts were like, you know, all about infidelity and marriages and divorce and people dying and all this stuff that I had no life experience. So I'm like, mm -hmm. what do you do? You substitute anything you've ever had. I lost a pet when I was 14 or, you know, I'm whatever. But with life experience, right. yeah, I mean, right. I'm 45. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> now, just with everything that's happened in life, I'm a, I'm a more interesting actor because mm -hmm. I don't have to work so hard to get that. It's yeah. just, you know. Yeah. And a lot of these actors that are in their 70s now are so interesting to watch. Yeah. You know, well, movies like The green. Notebook or mm -hmm. whatever, Layers. where these people yeah. that just have, they've been through this life and they've seen so much and there's so much more to, yeah. to just give yeah. as an actor. Totally, man. Well, you've just seen part one with Jess and Grant. We're going to be back next week with part two, so don't miss it. Yes, we will. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for a little buzz. buzz. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.